Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox, we're playing some more Lumion Legacy as you can see on the screen right now. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over every single Lumion and what moveset you should probably run on them. And also like throwing some other moves that you, I could like recommend like saying, hey, if you don't want this, you could run this. A good one like Himber, for example, a lot of people like Quick Punch on it. I really don't like Quick Punch. I do prefer a Quick Sand, although most people don't like Quick Sand on it. So it's kind of up to you. But anyway, I'm going to leave it off here. So I'm just going to jump straight into the video. But if you guys want to see... A part two going over Lumion sets for training wise, TP wise, let me know in the comments down below. And if like people want it a lot, then I'll try and get that done within a couple of days, but that's gonna take quite a while. So yeah, with that being said though, let's hop into the video. Okay, then, so jumping straight into it, then let's go for Seer Knight. For Seer Knight, it's pretty obvious for that one, to be honest. You usually want to run Flaming Kick and Steering Still for your stab moves. Also, then you can use, use a slap down. I'd recommend always those three moves. The last move though is up to you. I would recommend Chase Down, it's really really good, especially a Killing Sorcher, although if you are in a tournament I don't want to use Chase Down, you might want to go for Power Focus, most tournaments ban Chase Down, so that's it for Seer Knights. Okay, well, the next up plan is Luminami. For this one, I have two sets, okay? So, the first one's going to be the Range Attacker. For Stab, I would recommend a Gamma Pulse or Flash Pulse. Obviously, a Flash Pulse isn't 100% accuracy, but Gamma Pulse is, so most people go for Gamma Pulse, even though Flash Pulse does a little bit more damage. It's up to you. Most people prefer a Gamma Pulse. For the Water Stab, also Maroon, and then I would probably recommend Rejuvenate. You can run Soft Water, but Rejuvenate is just way better, and since Luminami is mostly run as a tank, Rejuvenate is pretty darn good. Other than that though, you have quite a few options to go for. You can go for Peace of Mind. You can actually also choose Sleet Shot if you're worried about like Florence or like um, plant types. If so, if you want to do run that, that's a pretty good way because also Luminami otherwise can't really do anything to plant types. Other than that though, I wanted to actually mention Flash and Flea. I know not everyone will want to run it, but there is an option if you want to run Flash and Flea. It can be pretty good on some Luminamis, not on every Luminami low. I would probably definitely recommend like a very, very bulky set on it low, rather than like an offensive set if you want Flash and Flea. And that being said, let's go into the melee attacking one, which actually I would also recommend Hydro Slash or Submerge for stab. There's only water stab, there isn't a, a light type stab for melee wise right now at least, but I'd recommend Hydro Slash, but I will I mentioned Submerge because also it's not a rally move, it's pretty easy to get, and it does bypass scapegoat if you are curious. Although on that low we have Mega Chomp. I'd just definitely recommend it for like against other light types, so if you're against another Luminami, you can also hit it super effective. Again, rejuvenate for healing wise. Then you have a couple of moves again. You have also the Chili Chomp or Thunder Chomp. Thunder Chomp I wouldn't really recommend, I guess, for like other water types, then sure, but the only other water type in the game right now is Ventation, which also has very, very, very high melee defense, so it's not really even worth using Thunder Chomp against it. Uh, and again, you have Mega Chomp for the Luminami. So I definitely would go for Chili Chomp if you wanted a chomping move. Again, that lets you hit like Plant Types and Florence. And other than that low, even though it's a range move, I definitely would recommend Flash and Flea again. Not for the fact that it's a, it doesn't, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Mostly just like to get out of there. Again, let Luminami take a hit if you're in a more defensive one. If you have the secret build, so you can Flash and Flea. Your Luminami will take that hit for you. It will heal. And you better go into what into another Lumion for free. So that's basically it for Luminama. Okay, and so next up plan is Tatab. For this one, it's up to you really. There's quite a few like moves that there is, but for most people, obviously we're gonna be running Jungle Jutsu as our main stab move. That's basically the, the best move that Tatab gets. It is super strong. Like it's very scary right now. So yeah, definitely jungle jutsu. For stab plant type, you've got a few options. If you're gonna run like a complete melee set which is what I do which is my nimble brawny and very clumsy one I run bushwhack although if you want to run the mix set you can go for nature's fall for damage or I could go for life drain for a little bit of like recovery and it still hits fairly pretty hard anyway other than that I would definitely recommend toxic tail which is a weird one because it doesn't do that much damage but it's great for killing other tad tabs basically it's the same situation as zulong if zulong outspeeds itself uh, that's basically the win the the quicker one wins the matchup because also ancient is super effective against ancient. Also, Tatab is four times weak to poison, so uh, Toxic Tail one shots other Tatab. So keep that in mind. All on that low, that's basically like your free moves. There's um, a few moves that you can go for like as your last move slot. Most people go for poison, including myself. Although you do have the option for Wonder Herb or Tease, which I probably wouldn't really recommend Tease too much. Or you could go for Mud Spatter, which also has been in the game for quite a while and a lot of people use it for Seer Knights, but Jungle Jutsu hits uh, Metal now, super effective, so Mudspatter isn't really as useful, but it is an option if you still want to run it. 
Okay, so next up plan is Valkyrie. Also, I don't really use Valkyrie that much. I've never really been a big fan of it. Like, I, I like it, but for PvP wise, I feel like there's just better light types, and also the unit is just a better metal type. But basically, for Valkyrie, for stab, obviously, you have a gets yourself Gamma Pulse, which also is pretty good. It hits pretty hard. Valkyrie hits very hard, obviously. Other than that, though, it doesn't really have a great metal stab move yet. Holy Splash is alright, but only on a couple of Lumians. But basically, if I was going to run Valkyrie, I would run a Gamma Pulse, a Raging Howl. Then you have the option of Power Focus, which also means that you could boost your range attacks, and if you wanted to, you could also throw on a, um, a melee attack to also, like, boost both of them at once. It makes sense. So, with that, also, you do have the option for Rejuvenate if you want to run Rejuvenate. Other than a healing option, you do have Luster Loot. Also, if you set up your Power Focus, you can then also hit pretty hard with your Luster Loot and get a lot of health back. Other than that, though, if you are going to run the Power Focus set, you have the option to run, also, Nosedive or Holy Slash as like a melee move and also just mention it for like coverage wise you do have Air Blade just as like an, a strange attack air move so you could just run Gamma Pulse, Raging Howl, Air Blade and then maybe Rejuvenate or Power Focus it's really up to you but again I don't really run uh, Valkyrie that much so I'm not exactly the right person to ask for this one to be honest. Okay, the next up plan is going to be Vesperato. This one is very straightforward. You want to also slap down. That is your best, like, dark type move, all of Megatron, but he has the ability to slap off items. So you have slap down, shadow sprint, also revival, and um, to heal yourself, and you get rid of your uh, spirit typing for the turn. Very cool in certain situations. And also you have sharpen. That's basically the moveset that you always want to run. But in case you don't want shadow sprint, you do have uh, phantom slash, which also isn't priority but hits harder and also if you want to you can also run air blade even though it's not a melee move it's a range move first Browser has like decent uh range attack so you can actually use it for like coverage wise but and mostly for uh tick clips is what most people use it for but honestly i wouldn't really worry about it too much and i should mention blood drain but it's not really worth running it to be honest in most situations revive just running revival on its own with sharpening is just way better so i wouldn't really recommend blood drain right now Okay, the next up is Himber. For Himber, it's pretty obvious again. I would definitely run Icicle Trap on every single Himber just for the fact that, hey, if they have no fire type to get rid of them, Icicle Trap is great damage for, like, super against super effective Lumians that are weak to ice. On that low for your Ice Stab, you have Winter's Fury or Chili Trump. Most people go for Winter's Fury now, to be honest, they realize that like, it's way better. Although you have to worry about, like, only hitting twice, that kind of sucks, but hey, you have the option to hit three times. So that's it for the Ice one. For the Earth, um, stab move, you can also go for Earthquake, which most people go for again, or you can go for Yeti's Wrath, but you have to be careful, because also it locks you in, and obviously it costs a butt ton of energy, so also you only can really use Yeti's Wrath if you get rid of all of the plant types and Avatross on Cinemoth, or the opponent's team. Once you do that, they can basically spam Yeti's Wrath, so it's up to you, but Earthquake is just good enough, to be honest. All on that low, you have a couple of options for your last move. I'm going to mention Quick Pounce, even though I, I mean Quick Punch. Even though I don't really like Quick Punch on my Himbers, it is like, I guess in some very, very, very specific situations it is good, but I find myself uh, not running to that at all, basically, but some people do run into that against me, so it's up to you if you want it or not. I would prefer Quick Sand Low, even though it's a range attack, just so the ability to like, trap Lumia's in, because also, like I said, Timber is very, very tanky, like everyone knows. So, if you like predict a swap, you can basically, like, all slave lists, they're going to go into Tatab, for example. You can go for the quicksand, trap the Tatab in, and now basically you have like a free swap and they can't do anything, so they have to go for an attack or a wait or a rest. So, basically, you get like a free swap and they also can't predict you from swapping out. So, that's why I would recommend for um, Himber. Okay, then, so next one up, then, is Zulong. Again, a very straightforward Thunderstrike. Your hardest hitting electric stab move, elemental burst, your strongest hitting ancient move, ancient raw for just the fact that it's, it's a great move and it will be getting a buff soon. So, definitely would recommend it. Like in some situations, that minus one attack or range attack can definitely help. Also, then you have the, an option for like your last move. You can run chili chomp, which most people do, including myself. That lets you also hit Florent. Although, some people are actually running something like Taze on their Zulong. Or dodge. I will mention dodge. Also, on any of these lumens, you can run dodge, but a Zulong, it's up to you. It's pretty good to waste energy, but also, if you can run a little bit of tankiness on it, you can run taste and slow, slow things down quite significantly. But basically, that's it for Zulong. You always want like the first three moves that I mentioned Thunder Strike, Elemental Burst, and Ancient Raw. Other than that, the last move, you have a few options to go for, really. 
Okay, well, the next up plan is Umbra. For this one, it's very simple. I would definitely would recommend Raging Tackle for your hardest hitting move with the secret ability. Gloomfangs lets you block all the Lumia's using light type moves against you, so that's getting rid of a weakness. Quick Pounce also becomes a very, very strong priority move for Umbra. Like for the last move, you basically have Sharpen or Scapegoat. On mine, I prefer Sharpen, although if you want, you could drop uh, Gloomfangs and maybe run Sharpen and Scapegoat. But a mixture of these five moves is great, and I also just recommend all of them. Okay, the next up plan is Luxor. Very similar exactly to Umbra. Raging Howl for the strongest light type move. Luminous Raw to block dark type moves, one of its weaknesses. Disperse. I wouldn't recommend Quick Pounce. I know some people like Quick Pounce on Luxor, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It's a melee move. Luxor has very low melee attack, especially with now having to run very frail. But I wouldn't really recommend it because it's already quick anyway. But yeah. Raging Hammer, Luminous Raw, Dice Burst, then you have the option of either running Scapegoat, which you can run in conjunction with a Health Amulet to get some health back to spam that a little bit, or you could run Flash and Flee to also get out of the battle. Again, you're pretty quick, so you can most likely like guarantee that you're going to outspeed most things in the game. Although, be careful for like um, plant types, because this Looming, if you have the Secret Ability one, just can't hit plant types at all. Okay then, so next up is Teclipse, the last of the rats. First one, pretty simple, there's only really four moves that are worth running right now. Gloominous Raw for your stab move, Scapegoat, because you're mostly going to be running like a very bulky one with a secret ability to clips. You have Dice Burst to set up, and then you have Raging Howl to hit things that are plant types basically, or resist Gloominous Raw. Basically, it, pretty simple, straightforward. There's no really other moves worth running onto clips in this moment in time. Okay, then, next up plan is going to be Cinema. For this one, you have Ferroblast as your strongest bug type stab move, you have Airblade as your strongest range attack air move you have life drain for coverage if you want to choose that one i would i run it mostly on mine so i definitely would recommend it unless you hit water types pretty hard i guess um also then for that one you have like options i guess for your last third or fourth move if you don't want life drain you can also go for the poison just to spread poison around pretty good in general you have snow spores also a pretty good move on cinema just to put things to sleep and then you have pester which is pretty good i guess in doubles as well which basically if you use it it's very low wing power but it decreases the opponent's range attack so they don't hit as hard they're all pretty good it's up to you really what you want most people i'd probably would assume snow spores is going to be like the, the best fourth option so it's up to you really but there's quite a few things that Sidmoth can do, I guess. Okay, the next up is Avatross. This one, again, I think is very, very straightforward. There's like basically like four or five moves that you can run, really. Six, technically, if you count, if you count dodge. But basically, for Avatross, you're going to be running the secret ability, obviously. There's no point in not. But also, you have Nosedive as your strongest uh, stab move. That's the only stab move you have. Thunder Crush is really, really good. Also, all of its other moves are resisted by Metal. Thunder Crush bypasses that and lets it hit. Metal now super effective, although both of those come with recoil. Then you could go for Perch as a healing move. Then you can also go for Sharpen to boost your stats. You can also go for Dodge if you are worried about like making sure that you have speed things, but it's just like fairly bulky, so you should take a hit as long as it's not like super effective. Although if you don't want Sharpen and you actually are struggling to beat Zulongs, uh, if a Zulong swaps into a nosedive, you can also run a um, a body slam on Avatross and there is like a chance to KO a Zulong that just came in on your just on your nosedive even. Also take a lot of damage. Body slam has a chance to like finish it off if it's fairly weak, so you have that option as well, but it's up to you. Most people will probably go for sharp and bot body slam and also dodge is an option for that. Okay then, so next up is Swolder. For this one, you can run Parasitize, also your strongest bug type stab move. With that, you can also run Rejuvenate and Poison. They're pretty good in combination with each other. Then you heal, then you Poison Stall, obviously. So, definitely would recommend those three moves like on every Swolder, basically. They're just pretty good in conjunction. Parasitize heals you, Rejuvenate heals you, Poison to stall things out. Pretty good stall. For the last move, though, you have a few options. You can go for Venom Chomp for the Poison stab damage. Not really necessary, though. You can go for Mega Chomp, that lets you hit like some light types that you might not be able to hit otherwise on your team. Mega Chomp's pretty good. Although you can also run Eerie Stay, which also lets you decrease some speed and melee defense on the opponent Lumion. Pretty good, I guess, for um, Obsidragons, I guess you want to troll them. Although, for the last move, you do have the option for Pestilence, which also is a ranged move, but it traps in the opponent for a couple of turns. So, hey, they like, take Pestilence damage and Poison damage. Pretty darn good there. Although, I will mention as well, Dodge is another option if you want to like use dodge to try and uh, get like the poison damage to roll up a little bit without wasting too much energy. It's up to you, but there's some pretty good moves off Swolder. 
Next up one is Florent. For this one, pretty easy again. You have Volsley Sap Plants, Poison, Dodge, and Parasitize. That is what I would most likely recommend. People say that Fair Blast is better because it hits harder, but I would go against it and say Parasitize is actually better. Unless you get more health, because also you're, you're probably going to ruin the Secret Ability and the uh, Drain Orb. It actually can actually uh, break to Eclipse's Scapegoat, which is great for the Secret Ability one. So it costs also for Eclipse. If it sets up Scapegoat, you can't poison it, you can't sap plant it, and there's no point in really dodging. So you have Parasitize to break the Scapegoat at the very least. Although, if you don't want to run that, you have the option, I guess, of um, Wonder Herb to like clean up your... Uh, team statuses, but I would recommend the first fall moves to be honest. But yeah, there's Florence, pretty straightforward. Okay, the next up plan is Terrafly. For this one, again, Parasitize, your strongest stab type move. Very, very good. You can also then run Provoke. I would definitely recommend Provoke on most Terraflies right now, because also, pretty quick, it can stop, com it can completely, like, stop Obsidian from be slumbering and going for, like, setup, so pretty good, basically, forcing to have to go for a swap out or just to attack you. Then also, you have the option of Poison Barbs. I like running Poison Barbs, but not everyone does, so it's personal preference. Other than that low, also you do have the Venom Trump for your Poison Stab damage, but again, most people right now are like choosing not to. Although, what people are wanting to run right now is actually Wing Slap, mostly just for like Swalder really, to like hit all the bug types super, super effective, because Swalder tanks both of its stab type moves. Although, other people are also choosing to run Double Sting, maybe like other Barbs, just so they can actually break scapegoats pretty easily, like, um, or like actually deal damage through the scapegoats, because also the first one might break the scapegoat, and then the second one I will actually do damage to get rid of the scapegoat. So yeah, you have a few options, but it's really up to you. For the mine, I run Parasitize, Provoke, Barbs, and I run Wing Slap right now, and it seems to work pretty well. Okay, well, next up is Ragoon. Also for this one, again, pretty straightforward. I would just recommend Slap Down, Sharpen, Chase Down, and Body Slam. Although, also, you could also replace any of those moves. You might not want Chase Down, but especially when its ability gets buffed, I would definitely recommend those four moves. Although, you do have the option, if you want to get rid of, like, Body Slam, you do have the option for Quick Pounce as just a priority move, although Body Slam does more damage and Ragoon is fairly quick. And you also have the option for Provoke, if you want to, like, stop things from setting up, or just stop things from doing, like, any status move, like Poisonous or Sleeping move. So, it's up to you, but the four first four moves just makes sense on Ragoon. Next up is Borok. There's only four moves that you really should run Borok. Earthquake, Mega Chomp, Raging Tackle, Quick Pounce. The only one that I could really recommend you changing if you want to is maybe Raging Tackle for Body Slam, but honestly, there's no point in that. Raging Tackle just does so much damage with a plus one on a boast Borok, so you only really need these four moves ever. So yeah, I don't really need to talk about Borok too much. It's just super good. Next up is Eliguanolin. For this one, you could either go with the Magnify set or the Energize set. So first, let's go for the Magnify set, which also is like a nasty plot. It raises your Ranger tank by a plus two. For this one, you could go for the Gamma Pulse. I would actually recommend the Gamma Pulse, honestly, which also lets you just hit pretty hard. You good stab move. Thunder Strike, another electric stab move for it. Then I would probably recommend going for Luster Loot, just for health, get so you can get them back pretty quickly. Uh, that's basically it. You do have Taze or Flash and Flea, but again, you don't really need Taze because you're not very tanky to really like want to Taze things. And Flash and Flea is no real point since you're setting up anyway, but it is an option. Although for the Energize set, I would probably recommend Energize, Thunder Strike. Then you have the option of Gamma Pulse and the Luster Loot, which whenever you want. Mostly people like for me, I would go for the Luster Loot, but in doubles, Gamma Pulse makes more sense. And then for the last move, I run Taze. So also again, since Energize boosts both uh, range attack and range defense, it makes you more tanky so you can actually go for those tasers a little bit more often. And again, you have the option for Flash and Flea, but not really worth on Eliguana unless you're just not running like a setup version on it. But it is pretty quick, so you might be able to get off on a few things. So yeah, up to you, Lou. Okay, then, so next up is going to be Gastro. For this one, pretty simple again, although the first move is up to you. You can run Nature's Force for stab, good damage. You can run Life Drain, which is going to hit a little bit less but gives you health back. Or you could go for Pine Shot, which is kind of risky, but it does let you bypass some scapegoats and eventually, I guess, on some Lumion. So it's up to you, really. Uh, other than that, though, you have Photosynthesis for healing-wise. You have Briar Block, which is basically your version of Dodge, just, like, prevents from the melee attackers from, like, hitting you. And basically do a little bit of chip damage to them, so it's pretty good. And the last move is Poison. Pretty simple for Gastroke. It's just, like, a pretty stolly Lumion, but, again, it doesn't really do too much, so it might be a little bit difficult to run it, but those are the moves. Okay, then next up is Wiki Wiki. For this one, 
Again, pretty simple, wouldn't really recommend Wiki Wiki though, but basically, for most Wiki Wikis, you have Poison, Wonder Herb, which is great for also clearing out your teammate statuses. Then you could also go for Salt Plant and Rejuvenate. Now, that is like the most like used moveset right now. Also, the, the, it doesn't attack because it's attacks that suck. It's just mostly like for um, helping your teammate, basically. It's just like a healer sort of thing, to be honest. But although, you do have the options for Health Gift. Also, if you're like getting fairly low on health and you don't really want to heal it anymore, you can use Health Gift and also heal one of your little Lumions. You have Hypnotize as a move other than Poison. If you don't want to run Poison, you can run Hypnotize for those sleeps. Or, as well, you can run Provoke, just to prevent things from setting up on you, because also Wiki Wiki is, like, pretty easy to set up on. So, yeah, there's a few options there for Wiki Wiki. Okay, then, next up is Chartiki. For this one, again, pretty simple, straightforward. Fire Breath for your Fire Stab damage. Then for uh, your Plant-type Stab damage, you have either the options of Nature's Forces for damage, Life Drain, which is what I personally use for just a little bit of health back. You hit pretty hard anyway. Um, and Pine Shot, again, for mostly scapegoats. All on that though, you have then Rejuvenate and Provoke, and that's basically it. Again, you do have a Briar block as well on Chartique, I'm pretty sure, so it's up to you, but I think those four first moves are pretty good. I just run Fire Breath, Life Drain, Rejuvenate, and Provoke. Also, there is Photosynthesis if you don't have the Rejuvenate MM, but basically, that's it for Chartique. Okay, the next up is Sword Tube. Probably the easiest looming ever to like really do. It has four moves. Unless you count dodge, that are just worth running. So basically, Foul Chance, hit super hard, the strongest mind type move in the game right now. The secret ability doesn't miss. Well, it's 100% accuracy at least. And also you have Elemental Burst, just like coverage I guess, lets you hit ancient types. Lets you just hit a little bit more stuff. Then also you have Peace of Mind to set up. And then Health Gift, so when your Sorch is like finally starting to get a little bit lower, it's not really going to do anything for you. You can Health Gift into another Lumion and give them a good chance to like get a lot of health back. Although, I should mention, you also have the option of dodge, I guess. I mean, you can run dodge on literally every every Lumion, so it's up to you, but I don't think it's really worth running it on, on, on Sorcher. So, again, up to you. I would prefer Health Gift Flow. Okay, then, Thedimaz is next, then. For this one, again, pretty easy. Earthquake, Stab, Sharpen. If you're running the uh, hasty ability, you need to basically Sharpen so you don't miss. After one Sharpen, you can always hit your moves with 100% accuracy, if they were 100% accuracy to begin with. And also you have Rejuvenate for health-wise. Sedimaz is fairly bulky, it should be able to take a couple of hits in certain situations. And for your last move, you either have the option to Raging Tackle, which most people have started running at the very start. Although people realise I had, hey, he has Blaze Chomp, you can actually hit now the um, plant types a lot harder. So most people go for Blaze Chomp, but you still have the option for um, the Raging Tackle if necessary, I guess. So again, it's kind of up to you. Next up is Ventation. For this one, again, pretty easy. You have the option for Geyser, also just your water stab move, which also can burn. You have soft water and dodge as like your sort of like healing way to heal, basically. And for the last move, you have like a few options, I guess. You have either Scapegoat, which most people run. You do have Sleet Shot, though, which more people are starting to run now. It lets you just hit like Avatross and just like a few things a little bit harder that Geyser wouldn't be able to really hit. Although some people, I'm actually not kidding, choose to run Brace. Also, Ventation and Brace, you can basically like set up on a couple of things and then they don't do any damage because Ventation has a lot of melee defense. So people are actually running Brace to like make it even more tanky than it already is. So hey, there is that, but it's not really really like worth running on most teams. I'd probably recommend sticking to Scapegoat or a Sleet Shot. It's up to you. Okay, well, next up one is your soul. Again, a pretty easy one to be honest they're all like, most of these are like fairly easy but people keep asking me low but basically slap down just use good utility it's not stab but it's really good utility that you really should run quick punch and shadow sprint also for priority moves that are both stab and both also get a huge boost with the sharp claws and the power curse and again they're both stab they get a lot of bonuses then and again your soul isn't exactly the quickest thing in the world so those are really really nice and the last move, what most people run, is also the chase down, which also lets you trap in certain Lumions so they can't swap out, and you basically get to hit, hit them for free before they swap out, and they just do a lot more damage than it should. On that though, if you're in a tournament or you don't want to run chase down, you have the option to sharpen, and also I will mention that you do have the option to run um, Phantom Slash and Hop Kick in case you don't want Quick Punch and Shadow Sprint, but I mean, you should probably run the priority moves because 
you saw just already just so much more damage. You just got to be worried about like, the speed and the defense designs like like Grip, where it hits super hard. So I'm also just run the priority moves. Okay then, Revenine is up next then. So also we have for the Spirit stab move, we have Ghostly Howl or Spectral Burst. It's up to you really which one you want. So take that, I guess. Also, if you don't know, Ghostly Howl doesn't miss, but Spectral Burst hits a little bit harder. Then also for your Fire stab move, you have Fire Breath. Then you have Mega Chomp, which is pretty darn good to also take your light types. Then to last move for me, I run Shadow Sprint, although if you really want to like replace one any of these, I would recommend right now like a Mixed Attacker. You could run Power Focus, so you can actually hit a lot harder, but again, Temper Boost is what you mostly want right now at least, until Vengeance comes out and is like buffed. But Power Focus with like Mega Chomp or Shadow Sprint is good. Shadow Sprint is mostly just for like Eurosolve, so you could like interchange like you want. Or also the other option is Final Ruse, because Final Ruse is always great on a team. It's uh, pretty unpredictable, I guess, if they uh, don't know your last move, I guess. So, hey, there is that as well. Okay, then, Eruptodon is next, then. For this one, you also want to run Fire Breath. That's, like, your best dab move. I would definitely recommend Burn Up Plan as your second move. It lets you get rid of uh, Icicle Traps if they are just set up on the field, or Poison Barbs. Um, just great, and it lets you hit harder. It basically sets you up. Definitely would run Land Magma Block as your version of, like, a dodge. Basically, if you predict them to also hit you hard, go for Magma Block. And if it is a physical attack or a melee attack, they take a little bit of recoil damage from hitting you. All on that low, for me, personally, I run Must Batter on my last Lumion. Just hits pretty hard on, like, a lot of Lumions. And again, because I'm running a Nimble Smart Set, I have Very Frail. So Earthquake is an option, but it's not really going to do that much. Although, if you really want to... You could swap out Burn Up for Power Focus, and you could swap out Mud Spatter with Earthquake. If you don't want to run a uh, strictly a range attacking set and you want to run a mix set, that is an option as well. Okay, Crackalo is next one. For this one, again, we have Magma Burst or Fire Breath for your stab damage. Magma Burst has a little bit higher chance to burn, so most people go for that, but Fire Breath is fine as well. It does a little bit more damage. You'll then also, again, have Burn Up and Magma Block, the same as Eruptodon. Burn Up just gets rid of, like, Poison Barbs and sets it up. Magma Block to prevent it from damaging your version of dodge, basically. And most people would choose Rejuvenate as their last move, which also lets you just heal, because it's really, really good. Although, you also have the option to run Mud Spatter and Earthquake, because obviously, if you just run Fire Breath or Magma Burst, you can't hit really any other fire type, so Mud Spatter and Earthquake let you just hit lows, I guess. Earthquake, I wouldn't really recommend it, but some people really like it, apparently, but... I would prefer Mud Spatter if I wanted to run it, to be honest. And hey, it slows stuff down for my teammates, I guess. But yeah, not really going to do too much unless you set up a lot with them anyway. So there is Krakaloa. Okay, Lens. Next up plan is Volkaloa. For this one, I wouldn't really recommend using Volkaloa right now. Sounds like for the greatest in the world. But hey, if you want to run it, definitely Savage Greed as your ancient stab move. It hits harder now than Primal Slash. Although you could run Primal Slash. They just have a higher crit chance, so it's up to you, really. So, but yeah, Savage Greed does more damage based now. Earthquake. For coverage, basically, if you're against a fire type, that's which is pretty good, I guess, for like Ikazuni and stuff like that. You can run Blaze Chomp as your fire stab move. That's like the best fire stab move you have right now. Not exactly that great, but hey, at least you have one. And the last move for me, I actually run Power Focus, which is pretty good, to be honest. Like, just lets you set up because Volklo is pretty weak offensively, to be honest. So, yeah, Blaze Chomp doesn't really do enough damage. Although, not low, if you don't want Power Focus. You can just run Raging Tackle, lets you hit pretty hard as well, just nukes things. Although, you also have the option for Rejuvenate, which I wouldn't really recommend, because Volklo is very, very frail, so you're not really going to get much out of Rejuvenate. It's going to waste your energy, which you don't really have that much energy anyway. Although, again, Dodge is a viable option as well, because Volklo could install some energy, I guess. And that's basically all it does, because it's not exactly that great. Okay, the next up one is Obsidragon. Again... Very simple, there's only like a few ways you can run this. Also, Beast Slumber, that's your healing move, that's what makes Obsidian so good. Then also you want to run Sharpen or Power Focus, they both do the same thing really, so it's up to you. But once you've got those two moves, that's basically like the only two moves that you definitely need on every set. The next up low, you have like four different moves that you could run really. So also you, you do have the option for Scapegoat if you don't want uh, Sharpen or Power Focus. But why would you really want Scapegoat? You don't really need it. If, if you set up a scapegoat and they hit it, your resilience isn't going to activate until they hit you. But for the Muslo, you have the option between Primal Slash for damage, stab, you have Mega Chomp for coverage against light types, and you have Earthquake for coverage against... Um, I, I guess not really... I, I, actually, yeah, against metal types like uh, Serenite. So it's up to you. For right now, I am running Primal Slash and Earthquake. 
although I would like to go for a Megatron instead of Earthquake, maybe. I would definitely would recommend like Primal Slash and then Megatron or Earthquake. Although you could just run Megatron and Earthquake as well. It's really up to you, but yeah, obviously drone's pretty simple, to be honest. Just two statuses or support moves and then just two attacking moves. Pretty simple, really. Okay, then Trumbull is next then for this one. Again, very simple. You can go for Battlehorn. Also, right now, it's like the best move, I guess, in the game, other than Beast Slumber. For your highest damage, like, output-wise, you could go for Raging Tackle. Completely nukes things, although there's a lot of recoil, and since you're setting up, honestly, you could drop Raging Tackle for Body Slam, which is also a lot less damage, but you don't take recoil damage. On that low, the other two moves that you want to run on uh, Trumbull is obviously Quick Pounce. Also very, very good. I mean, priority move as well in Stab. And also Megatromp, which also uh, basically gives you a little bit of coverage, I guess, for your mind type weakness. Although, I will mention that it does have like a dodge-like move, which is called... Tone Barrier. It's basically like a, a Magma Block or a Briar Block, but for range attack. So if you get hit by a range attack in that turn, when you use briar, Tone Barrier, it'll basically block the damage, and the opponent that hit you with a range move will take a little bit of damage. Probably not really worth it on... Um, most Trumbull sets slow, but it is an option, I guess. Okay, the next up is Moochun. Again, pretty simple for this one. Raging Howl is your most damaging output move, gives you stab, and also with the secret ability gets a nice boost as well. If also you're um, gonna one-shot something without Raging Howl, that's when you would go for like Resonate, which is a pretty strong move still. Doesn't have any recall, which is great, and obviously has a chance to boost your range attack by one stage by like 10% chance of the time, so pretty good there. On that low, you could run a Disallant Chance, or Disallant Cord even, I should say, which is a pretty good move for Obsidragon if you want to like, if you're struggling with Obsidragon. It basically prevents sleeping, so like, it can't actually go for Beast Slump and it just wastes a turn, which is always great. On that low, you have the option of either running Dodge or Stretch. I like Stretch because if you get a free Stretch, you have to beat a lot more things now, and like I said, Moochoon Nuke, so it's up to you, but I would probably drop dodge on this set. Okay, then Gobidemic is next, also the, right now the quickest loom in the game. Definitely would recommend Hypnotize. I mean, it's just annoying, it's the fastest thing in the game, and there's like nothing really that can like stop it from hypnotizing things right now. So yeah, definitely Hypnotize. Health Gift, I would definitely 100% recommend. They're literally the quickest thing in the game. Nothing can stop you from Health Gifting, except from like being paralyzed, but most people run Immunitize, so you can't actually get paralyzed, or then just priority move so yeah you can basically like guarantee you to get health gift off so you can bring in another lumion that is on your team that has low health basically give them all their health back and then hey that's really good on that low for damage wise for stab damage wise you have muck blast and gobble goop muck blast does more damage gobble goop does less damage but drains a little bit of energy which is just annoying for team for opponents on that low for your last move you have a few options i run provoke on mine i'm pretty sure although you do have the option for poison obviously which Muck Blast has a chance to poison if you just want to run that. And also you can run Wonder Herb again, which also will then clean up your teammates of statuses. So again, up to you. I prefer Hypnotize, Health Gift, Gobble Goop, and then I run Provoke just to like prevent things from setting up. Just a nice thing to have, I guess, because again, the quickest loom in the game right now, which is great. Icicle is next up plan. For this one, I would just recommend Phantom Slash as like your good spirit stab move. Also, if you want another st a stab move for Ice, you could go for Chillichomp. Doesn't really get anything better right now than those two moves. You do have Icicle Trap now on it, which is great. Also, rather than just running Kimber for your Icicle Traps, Icicle can set up as well now. Only that low for like your last move, you have quite a few moves, honestly. You could also drop Ch uh, Chillichomp if you really want to, kind of up to you. But basically, you have Impersonate, which is great. It's like me first, I guess, in Pokemon, where basically... Uh, you will get priority, and whatever your opponent's going to use, you will copy that move and use it back against them. Although there is a kind of like a bug right now, so like if you're against a Ursol and it uses like Shadow Sprint on you, since Ursol has quicker speeds, both both Impersonate and Shadow Sprint is like plus one priority. So if you Impersonate, the Shadow Sprint will outspeed you since Ursol's quicker, and the Impersonate will fail. So you got to be careful about that. But otherwise, it'll get fixed soon. Gain Drain is pretty good to like stop things from setting up like Trumble, just to get rid of it, and Trumble can't do anything to Icicle, so it's great. All on that low, you have the option to run Hypnotize or Mega Chomp if you want to like deal with um, things that maybe a spirit type moves can, like Phantom Slash. So up to you, Mega Chomp, probably not really worth it low, except from like Light Types, which let's be honest, you're probably not going to stay in against Light Types anyway. So yeah, there's Icicle. 
Okay then, next up is Ferroglyph, which is actually a, a pretty interesting one, because also it gets a lot of different moves really. So for this one, I would definitely recommend running Peace of Mind, although you do have the option to run Provoke as well, so you could either uh, take both of them, but I wouldn't really recommend it. You could run Peace of Mind or Provoke. I wouldn't really recommend both of them, but it is also the, an option to do it. And with that being said though, you have quite a few damaging moves. Actually, you have like four of them that you can pick from. For me, I personally like the peace of mind and the free attack, so also you have Flabbergast as your stab move, then you have Spectral Burst, which is mostly useful like spirit types, like your soul, basically if you train it enough in range de uh, melee defense, you can take a your soul shadow sprint, one straight back with Spectral Burst, very nice. Also then you have Dark Surge for light types like Luminami, and also last but not least you have Border Blast to choose from, which also deals with like metal types and... Uh, fire types like Seer Knight, for example. So yeah, Fire Glyph is pretty simple. I'd recommend Peace of Mind or Provoke and then just run three moves. Again, you could run Peace of Mind and Provoke and then two moves, maybe just drop Flabbergast and just run like Spectral Burst, Boulder Blast or Dark Surge. Like just pick two of those moves, I guess. But yeah, pretty difficult because again, for Fire Glyph, especially it's like for move syndrome, it has pretty good like damaging moves and like two pretty good like support moves, but it looking fit for them on its arsenal, so it can't. It wants to bring all of them, and it'll be great. It'll be super good if it could. So yeah, but there's Ferroglyph. Okay, then next up is Duskit. For this one, you could run Oppress or Spectral Burst for your Spirit Stab move. Also, Spectral Burst does more damage. Oppress is mostly used if you're running Hypnotize on your Duskit. Also, then I would definitely would recommend Peace of Mind on most Duskits, to be honest. And also along that, you have Flabbergast, which also is your Stab Mind type move right now. Then also, again, you could run Hypnotize. So again, for me, I run Oppress, Peace of Mind, Flabbergast, and Hypnotize right now. Although, you do have the options for Dark Surge as well, which I'm mostly, I might get rid of Flabbergast for Dark Surge. It seems pretty good, to be honest, and it lets me hit um, Luminamis pretty well as well. Although not low, again, you have the option for Dodge like usual. Although it's a Duskit, you also have the option for Final Ruse. So if you want to get rid of Peace of Mind, you have the option for... Um, Final ruse, I guess, if you really want to be that guy. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying you can, but are you really going to be that guy? And last but not least is finally Ikazune. For this one, again, very simple. I would always recommend Fire Breath for your Fire Stab damage, Thunder Strike for your Electric Stab damage. Right now, Electro Burst might be better in the Sephirite update. Flash and Flee, just like also get out of the, unless you hit like Obsidian, I guess, I'm most likely going to swap into you because it resists your other moves. And then Energize, just a setup. Although, I will mention again, you have the option for dodge, like every Lumion has the option to dodge. Although, most Lumion's not really worth it. And you also have like access to Taze, if you want to like slow something down, which, let's be honest, Ikazuna is very frail. Wouldn't really recommend it. I would just recommend Fire Breath, Thunder Strike, Flash and Flee, and Energize. But with that being said, as every single Lumion in the game, this video took a while to record, okay? So I'm going to leave off here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.